Hey yo, what is up YouTube? We're back with another video and today we're talking about sneaker photography. Now, as quarantine slowly unwinds, I still haven't been out much yet and I'm still looking for things to do around the house. So, we're gonna be taking pictures of this shoe. I kind of tricked you guys, it's not really a new shoe. It's um, about a couple years old, um, but I still like it. I like the vibe and I think there's a lot that we can do with it. We're gonna be taking pictures of the actual shoe. This would be for like if you wanted to sell your shoes or if you wanted to put these pictures online for clients or customers or anything like that. So that will be more focused on the details of the shoe and just capturing the colors and all of that good stuff properly. So, the first thing you want to make sure you do when you're trying to take a picture of your shoe is it should be clean. Clearly, this is not what we're looking for. So, I'm just going to go clean my shoe real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so, uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't really worry too much about the bottom because I'm not going to be shooting the bottom too much. But yeah, the next step is to find a background. To find a background. Now you want a background that will complement the shoe without drawing away attention from the shoe. So you don't want a background that's so busy that it will um, take away the focal point from the shoe. But you also don't want a background that doesn't highlight all the good features of your shoe. So I have a couple of backgrounds in mind. You never know how they're going to look until you actually shoot them. But the first one is my floor, actually, a gray wood color. Um, so yeah, I like it. Um, part of the shoe is gray, part of the shoe is white, and part of the shoe is blue. So it might work, it might not. And lastly is actually my glass, my glass desk. We can use this for reflections, but let's go and see what we can do with the floor. All right. So for this shoe, I'm actually going to be using my camera with my 85mm 1.8 lens. It's good to blur the background and capture closer shots of the shoe, but you don't need any fancy camera, you don't need anything for this, you can even use your phone. And if you want to learn more about that, you can click this video right up here and it'll teach you everything you need to know about how to take pictures with your phone. So we just finished the floor shots. Now I'm gonna move on to the glass desk. I don't really think I'm gonna do the white desk anymore because I think the floor will be good. I don't really need the white. Um, maybe repetitive, you know? So we're gonna do the glass desk, maybe get some cool reflections. Um, I don't know. And we're gonna see how that goes. And yeah, so boom. We took the pictures, we edited them a little bit, and this is some of the results we got. So, a couple things to note. When you're taking these pictures, you can't, you don't want to get too creative. You want to, you want to be a little creative, but not too creative. What you want to do is you want to actually show the shoe for what it is. So, the first thing you want to make sure you have, the first thing, is an establishing shot. Now this is basically a shot of the entire shoe. Um, it will be something like this or that that shows the entire shoe. Usually, usually a good starting point would be a flat lay like this, which means this is what the camera sees, um, a top down view as well as a side profile like this. You wanna lay it on the ground like that. What that does is it shows that this is what the shoe looks like. This is. This is the overall look of the shoe. After that, you want to zone in on some of the details of the shoe. Now, each shoe would be different. You can focus on different things. But a couple things that I focused on was this Nike check mark here, um, the insole that says, yeah, Nike Air. And then I did one with the back of the shoe that says Nike Air, as well as one with the tongue that says Nike Air. Now, my favorite ones are probably this, these reflection shots. I really liked how it looked really professional. 
yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Um, I hope you guys learned something new. Um, I want you guys to go try this out for yourselves. If um, you like this video, if you want to learn more about photography and this type of stuff, um, you can click here. I have a bunch more videos here or here somewhere, but I have a bunch more videos about, and if you really like me and the hat, you know, you want to press the little subscribe button, that will, I won't, I won't, I won't mind, I won't mind either, so, you know, you know. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.